Previously on the Inges channel. It's gonna just barely fit. We got as much battery as you possibly could fit in here. It'll be fully functional within the end of the weekend. This thing looks fantastic. A little heavier than I remember it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we installed a super capacitor on this motorcycle. Can't wait to show of the battery though is compensated more than compensated by the power that it delivers yeah the second one you know like it actually feels lighter when you get on it all right for all you people watching let's give you guys an update i just got out here same thing as last video kurt was going crazy on this thing and uh i was in you know just in town working doing my thing and uh so here we are he has both of the packs fully installed, fully installed. we're just there. waiting on one more component and it's completely finished they're connected in parallel in from full discharge and then they're also connected each pair of cells in parallel so this wire connects let's just say cell 14 to cell 14 this one's cell 15 to cell 15 right so everything yeah. as it charges and discharges it's the one bms is now controlling both battery packs so that's yeah. the reason that those cables existed yeah and we both i mean he took it on a ride to test it but i got out here i just took it on a short little ride too and man this thing this thing feels amazing you can definitely tell right off the bat that the performance definitely got increased with that second added battery pack the low end is definitely a little bit twitchier and it's just so much more refined now the the twist of the throttle and everything just feels so natural we didn't change the controller settings so it's still at 35 percent battery power. right the only things that were done is this potentially is delivering more pulse power, right, as it's asking for pulses. And then I also stiffened up, you know, all this. I put lock washers on and new bolts. So the fr structure is stiffened, and then the second battery pack's added, but no changes to the controller. And it feels yep. a lot different already. It does. It no, has, it really it does. It's heavier, though, because the power that this adds makes it actually feel as if there's less weight there. Yeah, correct. The only the only way you can feel that there is any added weight is the rear shocks are stiff and you can feel it clunking, or you know, not clunking, but just a little stiffer in the rear end. I'm hoping that as the weight gets added, my thought was maybe when you're driving it, you'll feel different. It's gonna actually shift some of the weight backwards. Uh -huh. So the shocks start to not be as That's true, stiff that's true. Added mass in the middle. Yeah, and I mean, I was going over gravel, so that probably wasn't helping at all, but those are pretty it's stiff. It's compressing now. Yeah. Just with my weight, you see that? Yeah. But so probably that was my first thing I noticed though was just that the rear shocks felt a little like yeah. more compressed as I was riding. But I'm so, excited. It's starting to look dude. like what it's going to look like. We oh, were talking about it looks so good. how to make this console, not to give anything away. Yes. But we got some proprietary cool stuff. Here. Lots of skills being learned and we're going to make this thing look amazing. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Got this all wrapped up. Yep. Those are, I think at this point you probably already have seen go. the this. Yeah. No, this is it. So this is the super capacitor ready to go. I got the measurements in, you know, made over here, cutting the pack out for it. 
Uh, the total weight of this right now is seven and a half pounds. <laughs> yeah, just this. it looks a lot it looks bigger heavy, than it but feels. Capacitors are a lot lighter, a lot less dense than batteries are for the same volume, which is why they're not practical for use in place of batteries yet. Hopefully, the technology advances. But this pack holds 0 0.03 kilowatt hours. Main intention is not for it to deliver more longevity. It's for it to deliver, um, if, you know, lighten the load during pulses as it's pulling power. Right. So it should do that purpose just fine. It's perfectly flat. It'll sit right underneath here. It's the exact same length as the bottom of that frame. Yeah. And it'll fit oh. just between those two. It'll be pretty sweet. It'll be like a skid plate. You won't even see it unless you look for it. Yep, that's the secret sauce that just makes yeah. this thing ride amazingly. This is starting to be insane, and we're to that point where the drivetrain's almost done, and I gotta take this thing and make it look pretty. I'm not taking it apart until you tell me exactly what you wanna do. Yep. Now, I got you. I'll show you. you. Take it apart and put it together, and it just takes like three hours. Yeah. If you take a whole gas bike apart and put a whole so gas much bike more than that, together. and it's so much more complex. The bike Dang might not even run once you put it back yeah. together. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Definitely stuff to figure out. Um, still, just a couple little things: foot peg brackets and that kind of thing. Yeah. But man, I'll park it in your garage. I'll go to work exactly. in the days. I'll come back and it's. Just <laughs> exactly. Pretty soon you're gonna be able to feel how I feel now. Like, <laughs> just come out and see how good it's going. Man, we're almost at that point. I can't wait to get the super capacitor installed yeah, though. That is such a one of a kind thing right now. And we can't wait to see how much performance it adds or if it smooths things out that we want it to smooth out or whatever. We're getting so close to the point where we can crank it, you know, to where we want it and gear it to where we want it and everything and have it fully refined the way it's gonna sit all said and done. Okay, all right, well, let's just get back to work. gas so for the welder. We can't finish the welding job on that. I'm probably going to have to cut the cable coming out of here, convert it to two gauge because we're doing a pretty long run. So I'll convert it to two gauge until we get to our destination and convert it back to six gauge, which short distances then it won't be a problem. The bus bars on here are about six gauge. So if there's a weak point anywhere, it's going to be six gauge. Everything on the bike mechanically will be done. Yeah. So that's exciting. Been a long road to get here. <laughs> I was just scrolling through the Instagram a little ways back on the page and was looking at this thing as just a frame. Nope, it'll be really Man. cool. I had my computer here in hopes I could reprogram it, get it on the road today, but I know we ran out of gas. Kick it back up when we're good and ready. This is the next day. I'm gonna take Kurt's truck here. We're gonna head down to the road down there and this is final tuning right here. This is the powertrain fully installed. Man, it has been a long time coming for this video. But I'm gonna grab the truck, we're gonna bring it down there, set up a little base camp to tune this thing and hopefully by the end of this, it's gonna be ripping. But before we show you guys ripping it up and down the street, we're gonna have to end it here. We're gonna have to end it here. And we'll do the tuning video next time, but we'll give you we'll give them a couple passes right now. Sounds Can't good. leave you guys hanging yeah. too much. Freak, dude. Next time we'll do the tuning and we also need to put the foot pegs on there and hopefully next video we're actually riding it back to my house in preparation yeah, for body work. Foot pegs tune ride it back. That's yeah. a good video. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right guys, I appreciate you guys being here. If you can smash that like button, it really does help us out over here and subscribe and notify yourself if you did get unnotified recently because it's been happening. So with all that being said guys, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.
guy's trying to flex on us. He's trying to flex on us. Yeah. <laughs>